there really is no in between. Either you can code out in this language or solve this problem, or you can't, you know, and that's part of, of course, the technical interview process, which is great. So I would say, you know, pick a language and stick with it. Learn the fundamentals, uh, whatever that looks like for you. There are so many resources online. I also want to shout out Free Code Camp. Love Quincy Larson. He's like my personal hero. I love that he's trying to make <laughs> um, access to learning software development equitable for everybody. Like, oh, he's amazing. But um, that's an excellent resource. There are so many YouTube tutorials out there. You don't have to pay for a boot camp. You don't have to go to school. But if you do, power to you. I think that there's benefit of it. Um, but stay consistent. Like I said, learn the fundamentals. Don't overload yourself. That was something I was overwhelmed with when mm. I was on my own pace is like, there's so much out there. I didn't know outside of HTML and CSS. I knew that was where I was like, okay, we'll start there. And that's great. But after that, I was like, okay, now Python, JavaScript, Java, see what, what do I do? Pick one, just right. pick one. Seriously. Um, people do, especially to the whole LinkedIn tech community, which I genuinely love, but I love when people actually just get into what language is better. And I'm like, guys, okay. <laughs> I posted about that the other day. I made a, I tried to make a joke and I, cause I've seen other people do careful. it. Yeah. And I was like, ha ha. Yeah. Like, you know, there is no difference or like, there is no better language except if, you know, C sharp is better. Cause you know, my right. audience is primarily C sharp developers, but it's true. Like there, right. there is no best universal language. And to add into what you said from earlier, you had said that you are the type of person that will get analysis paralysis. So what's better to sit there for days, weeks, months and go, I don't know which language to pick because I can't pick the best one. Or do you just start, start learning it, start trying things, start building some experiences and you either go, Hey, this is pretty cool. Or, Hey, this sucks. Or right. now I'm curious about something else. Like you, you at least were doing something. Right. And uh, along the lines of that point too, I know we're wrapping up, but like I had this conversation again with Rob yesterday uh, during a standup and you know, I'm tackling some bits of front end stuff on this app that we're building. And I still find myself afraid to touch the code. Cause again, the, the developers on this team are all very seasoned. Some of them have worked in big tech, you know, um, and just, they know what they're doing is basically what I'm saying. And here I am 